Hey, so I was hanging out in my growing room today thinking about the soil food web because people have uh, asked me why I don't make agronomic or garden decisions based around microbes. And so I've tried to share some of this with folks and explain it. And it's, uh, I haven't come up with a perfect analogy or metaphor. So I wanted some help, but here's the best I have right now because what I'm trying to get across is that the microbial community in soil and in the rhizosphere is, is vast, it's diverse, um, and we know very little about it and it's constantly changing. So the population that was there, uh, you know, two hours ago, if I add water, it's gonna, it's gonna start to fluctuate and change even from that. There's pockets of uh, high oxygen areas that are very aerobic. There's pockets of low oxygen areas that are anaerobic, a uh, lot going on. And I heard a soil scientist say one time, which I really love this quote, that we know more about the surface of the moon or the depths of the ocean that we do of what's going on directly under our feet. So I, the best analogy I've been able to come up with is like, what if aliens landed? Yeah, bear with me here. Aliens landed and landed in, let's say Australia. And so they, they see all of this, you know, flora and fauna animals, and they think, okay, that is what exists on earth. You know, they won't, they won't see lions, they won't see elephants, they won't see raccoons. Um, you know, just a very limited sect, a part population of our total ecology of what Earth really contains. Um, and so, again, like I said, this is not a great uh, a metaphor or analogy, but what I'm trying to get across is we see so little when we look through the microscope um, to try and quantify that into bacterial to fungal ratios or figure out what species we're, we're lacking. Um, to me is is too short-sighted i, I want to say it's like seeing the forest through the trees but i think that would be backwards it'd be like trying to assess the forest by looking at one tree so i don't know if anyone can help me with that and to be fair that's where i started i started out in compost tea i thought that was the way i thought if i had any sort of plant deficiency or yield deficiency or un unhealthiness showing it was because i didn't have the right microbes in place i didn't have the right compost and compost tea was a silver bullet. I've learned a lot since then, I believe. I've changed my views. And uh, even though I have you know, a, a microscope set up that is thousands of dollars, which I still use from time to time, it's not how I make decisions about how I'm gonna treat my garden and how I'm gonna treat my soil. So if anyone can help me out with that, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks.